<coughs> we're going to add an asteroid, so add an object, another sprite. Um, call it rock, because that's quicker to type. Double click on rock. We're going to add another image here. We're going to find a rock. Uh, this one will do. You can see it appears in this list of all the images in the game. And again, we're just going to drag it into here. And now our sprite has an image. Now these rocks we want to spawn randomly across the top and drop towards our player. So we're going to make an event to do that. So we're going to add an event. We're going to make it timed again. So add a condition time. And we'll spawn a rock every second. So we'll call this rock timer. And make sure when you make a timer that you reset the timer somewhere. It's generally a good rule. So rock timer, make sure you type that all the same case. Don't spell it wrong. OK. Add a sub-event. OK, this sub-event is going to be to create a rock. So we're going to add an action. All objects, objects, create an object. We're going to create a rock. The Y position. Nought, I think, is probably at the top of the screen, so that's fine. Now, for the X position, we want it to be random. You can make a random by typing random with a capital R. The capital R is very important. Open bracket. We're going to put 750 in there. Close bracket. So this will generate a random number from 0 to 749. So this is 0 inclusive. If you typed um, this, this will be a random number 0 through 49. Okay, we're going to have 750. OK. So every one second, we're going to create a rock up there. Next up, we're going to add another action, um, all objects. And we're going to add a force to it to make it fall down the screen. So displacement, add a force. The object is rock. Uh, down is 90, so it works on 360 degrees, and naught is this way, 90 is that way, 180 is this way, 270 is straight up. Length in pixels is the speed it moves, so we'll give it a speed of 90. And damping uh, modifies the speed over time, we'll give it a damping of 1. 1 means the speed is constant. OK. So uh, make sure create rock is above add to rock a force because it will execute these events in order. OK, let's click on scene, preview, and let's see if those rocks spawn. Here are the rocks. There we go. Brilliant.